everyone, and welcome back to my channel. And, and happy new year. Happy 2020. Okay, in today's video, I'm going to be talking all about the top 10 fashion trends of 2020 or 2020. 2020, 2020, what do you say? I don't know yet, uh, but I love these trends, most of them. I'll be trying them all on. You can, you can decide what you think. I feel like they're almost all very wearable. In fact, I'm thinking on the fly here, maybe I should kind of rank them or rate them as I go along as to whether or not I like them, uh, how wearable they really are in real life. But I think overall, you're gonna really enjoy this video if you're new. It's a new year, consider subscribing below. My goal of the year is to reach a million subscribers. I don't know, I don't know, maybe it'll happen, maybe it won't, but if you want to contribute to that, I would love it. All right, let's get started with the first, the first trend, which is what I am wearing, sheer fabrics. I like it, I like this trend, I'm gonna rate this trend pretty darn high. Uh, why not an eight and a half? Yeah. Eight and a half, we'll say that, that it's, it's super wearable. This is something that I feel like looks chic, it looks stylish, you can wear it to the office, you can wear it on the weekend, you can wear it on a night out. Um, it's just super pretty. Um, I think I got this from New York and Company. Wow, I haven't shopped there in a long time. I actually saw this on, on a model uh, right outside the store and I loved it and so I went in and I purchased it. So I can try and find it. I like how the sleeves are kind of like bubbly, but uh, yeah, I think it was kind of a New Year's Eve uh, top that they were kind of marketing, but I, I'm gonna totally wear this way into the year and I just love the sheerness of it. But that leads me into the number two trend, kind of going along a very similar look and it's actually tights like pantyhose that are sheer, but with logos. So we're seeing this a lot with Gucci, we're seeing this a lot with Fendi. Uh, I think it kind of started out with socks, but it is now transitioned for 2020 uh, into tights and pantyhose and wearing them with skirts, wearing them with high heels, wearing them with sneakers. Uh, I actually really, really, really like this trend. I Every time I see it on Instagram and it's and it's styled beautifully, I, I love it. However, wearability factor, my rating when it comes into play, uh, no, this is a lower rating. We're gonna go with a 4.3. Yes, I'm loving my rating system here. I think that these are very expensive, especially if you're gonna go with a designer, which is kind of, the designer versions are really what's trending. Uh, they are so expensive, so expensive for these logoed pantyhose. And I don't really think it's a trend that will like, be around that long, but then also just wearability. I don't think you'll get that much wear out of them. Although when you do, I think you'll look, you'll look fab. But speaking of logos, <laughs> that's number three. Logos, I've been saying this trend for years now and yet we are still here. Logo mania is a thing. We've got logos on belts. It started with the Gucci belt. It transitioned to logos with shoes, logos with handbags. I mean, I just purchased this. If that doesn't scream logos, I don't know what does. And guys, if you want a freaking good pair of sunglasses, I'm not usually a sunglasses person, but Trend Savvy actually sent me these sunglasses and they gave me a discount code, just FYI, this is not sponsored, but these are Fendi sunglasses. They have amazing designer sunglasses discounted. So if you use my code Shay, you get an additional like 10, 15, sometimes all the way up to 35% off. It kind of just changes depending um, on the day or whatever, but I love these Fendi's. Uh, they have Gucci, YSL, D your sunglasses, just FYI, if you like a good logo, because <laughs> these are logo-y, but only in certain lights. They're just really cool. It's just logo mania. I don't know when this will stop. At some point it probably will, but for 2020, it's still here. Love it or hate it. Ooh, I need to rate something, don't I? Ooh, okay. Um, rating, wearability, very easy to wear logos because they're on everything. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna go with, um, my rating system is flawed. A seven, a seven, because we don't wanna like, you know, intermix logos. I don't like wearing like too many logos at one time. Um, and if, if you notice my like handbag collection, I do love a good logo, so I don't know. We're just gonna go with a seven. <laughs> All right, so since I just showed you a handbag that I just purchased, I wanted to transition into the handbag trend that we are for sure seeing for 2020, and that is a good pillow bag. Uh, this is a YSL uh, Lulu puffer bag, and if you notice, <laughs> there's there's that logo. Um, but I really do, really, really, I like this bag a lot. Um, it's gushy, it's, it's just smushy, 
I love it for the pillowness of it. And I, I swear, I mean, this definitely started with Bottega Veneta. They just, they gave so many of their pillow clutches to many bloggers and influencers. And so I swear, you know, brands can definitely kind of create the trend by just sending influencers handbags and clothes. And that's kind of how things often get started. And I think this one really stuck. Uh, and I don't have the Bottega Veneta version. Although I don't, I really don't mind that bag. I think it's really pretty. My husband loves Bottega Veneta. Um, I don't have anything of theirs, but this, oh man, I love it. I love it so much. Um, I know some people think it just looks like a big puffer jacket and that's fine. But for me, I thoroughly enjoy wearing it, not only because of the, the trendiness of it, but also just the comfortability. Wearable factor, very wearable. We're gonna go with nine, just a, how comfy and pillowy it is. So for the next trend, I forget what number we're on, uh, we have to talk about the dirty sneakers. <laughs> uh, this, is, uh, this is interesting. This is very wearable because hey, uh, all you have to do is just not clean your sneakers and it pretty much goes against everything that I've said in my videos prior to thus far. In fact, do I even have some footage of me saying how important it is to clean your shoes? Roll that footage. So just don't forget to clean your shoes. If they look too worn out, maybe it's time to pass them along, invest in some new shoes. So essentially these are just too clean. So if you wanna be on trend, don't clean your sneakers. Uh, this all started with the Golden Goose sneakers. They are very expensive white shoes, but they are dirty and they look like that on purpose. Um, at first, I really knocked this trend. Uh, I slowly am kind of getting more on board with it, although I've heard they're actually very uncomfortable. I don't know, I hear conflicting things about the shoes, but I really can't knock it too much just because I do buy distressed jeans, brand new jeans with holes in them. So that's kind of the same exact thing. You're buying brand new shoes that already look dirty. So I really can't say anything too bad about the trend, but as far as wearability, again, we're gonna go with the nine because it's very easy to have dirty shoes. So while we're on the topic of shoes, we have to talk about combat boots because they are definitely trending for 2020. And I bought these about a year and a half ago, and at the time, I had no idea how to wear them, and so they just sat here in my closet. But now, I feel like I've, got, I've gotten better at it. Uh, insert my Instagram here, follow me on Instagram, plug. Uh, but yeah, these are a lot more wearable than what you might think. You just kind of have to get the hang of it. So Google it, Pinterest it. Instagram it. I also really recommend Doc Martens. They are classic boots. They've been around for so many years. Very, very, very high quality, but a really good price point at the same time. So I can link those down below. These are by Louis Vuitton. Um, they're kind of pricey. They have the logo on them. I, I do like them, but probably too pricey. Although very wearable, kinda. We're gonna go with a six, only because uh, they take some brain juice to style them. But once you get the hang of it, it's not that bad. Next, we have to talk about high-waisted wide leg jeans. And I mean, high-waisted has been around for a few years now. I mean, it's just all a big evolution of pants. I mean, there was the flare jeans, the skinny jeans, the, the straight leg, and then now wide leg. This is the year of the wide leg jeans, and I am here for it. I love it. I didn't know that I loved it until I got this pair. Um, these are actually by Levi, and I just, I mean, I know Levi's is a classic, classic jean brand, but it took me a long time to kind of re realize how good they are. Once I got these jeans and, and, and realized how incredibly flattering they are, they're, they're high waisted, so they show off your, your waist really well. They're super comfortable. They go down to the perfect length, so they show off shoes. They're just really comfortable. I'm just rambling about jeans at this point. They all just come in, they go out, I don't know. Sometimes when I talk about trends, I just think like, why throw anything away? It all just comes back. But yes, wide leg jeans are for sure what I'm seeing a lot of for 2020. Wearability, 10. Everyone loves jeans. Next, we have to talk about the, the Pantone color of the year. Don't really know why this, uh, basically they just name a color of the year to kind of the, the trendy color of the year. So they announced that for 2020, the color is classic blue and they said, it's a color that anticipates what's going to happen next. So do you know what's gonna happen next? I'm gonna try on something blue for you because I don't, do you, do you even see any blue? Literally, do you see any blue in my closet here? No. Well, that bag is blue. Um, and I think I have one blue, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some blue on and I'm gonna look so trendy right now. Wearability six, because I haven't said that number yet. The next trend is a super size scrunchie. That was a terrible shot. 
Anyway, so it's scrunchies. They they made a huge comeback in 2019. Everybody was wearing them. They, you know, everyone was like, oh my gosh, these are from the 90s. Uh, but they made a comeback. But often trends, when they come back, they make the little entrance and, and then they get bigger and bolder and, and more in your face. And that's what's happening with the scrunchies. It's just, it's crazy. You're seeing huge, huge scrunchies, huge bows uh, in the back of people's hair, which I actually think is really cute. It kind of reminds me of like a younger hairstyle, uh, but I still really like it. This is the, the the biggest one that I have, but really what we're seeing are, are long ones and kind of like that half up, half down hairstyle that I wore all through grade school, uh, but that is back. Bigger version of this. <laughs> and wearability, we're just going with a four because some people don't even have hair to, to, to wear it. That was better. Next we have statement earrings, which is very exciting because little secret, I keep everything very minimal up here with my earrings and my jewelry, but in the basement, I probably said I got rid of stuff, but I didn't, I still have it. So I've got some big, bold statement earrings and in the, the runways this year, they incorporated very bold earrings into their outfits and that projects that for 2020, big, bold earrings will be kind of the thing. For the last few years, it's been very, very dainty, uh, dainty jewelry, which I love obviously, uh, but I think it'll be interesting and fun to incorporate some bigger earrings into my, my looks this year as well. Earrings are very wearable because if you have your ears pierced, you can just stick them right in. Uh, Clip-ons are a thing too. Wearability, we're going with a 9.5. So that does it for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. The algorithm likes it. Also consider subscribing if you happen to be new. Uh, but I really hope you enjoyed this one. I'll also link a couple other videos here. One being my 2019 best purchases of the year. I love that video. So maybe I'll see you on over there in that one. Bye.